Okay, this is the D11, as you can see. This is the blade, which is uh, about nine foot six tall by 21 feet wide, which weighs about 16 tons. Okay, this has just come back from Finnings, where it's had new undercarriage on. It doesn't look like it, but uh, it cost about a hundred thousand pounds to get it uh, refurbed, which will last about a year and then it'll need a similar amount or a little bit more spending on it again. Um, it's a V8, about 790 horsepower I think it is, and it holds, the fuel tank holds 1,400 litres of fuel, which lasts about 12 hours. If you're pushing down here, it'll push about 70, 80 tonnes. This ram here, there's two, one this side and one the other side. Basically they extend out and if you're pushing up a hill, you can push it out and it will push the muck off the end of the blade, these. Or you can make it tilt either way and dig in it on a corner of a bank or whatever you're doing. This is the final drive here where all the gears go into and, and the drive, this big lump here, which power the tracks. Um, and then if you come around the back, you've got the ripper. It's only got a short ripper shank because I've I've actually uh, broken this one twice. It's been broken twice. As you can see. Uh, um, so there's a new one coming from the States at the moment, which will be about another four foot longer. Yeah, yeah. This is one of the two air filters on, on the machine. Um, obviously the radiator and the oil cooler here. The engine, the engine and the twin turbo, can, it can push about 60, 70 tonne. And I'm going, on this face here, I'm going backwards and forwards every minute, minute and a half. So times that by 12 hours, and you can see how much you can shift in a day. So it's a very productive machine if it's worked right. This is the computer here where you can uh, set the different things for the blade, the automatic tilt, automatic uh, return, also for the uh, the ripper, you can make the ripper do different jobs, you can make it come out, lift up on its own and different things like that. And this is the reverse camera here, um, most important thing is a CD player um, and obviously here are the gauges on the dashboard water, oil, hydraulic oil, um, engine oil, and fuel. Yeah, this is a lovely machine to drive, you know. Uh, it just feels very impressive, you know, and very awesome. Uh, it's not as comfortable as a car. Uh, it's just it's just what you get used to. When you've been driving something for 40 odd years, 45 years, it just, it just basically, it's part of you. You know, you just, uh, well, what can I say? You just get used to it. I'd rather drive a Caterpillar than anything else. They're a, a fantastic bit of kit. They're uh, very reliable and, you know, very good, like I say. Very reliable machine, very good, very powerful.